Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Gina. Today I'm going to be doing some art on a plate. I was searching for one of my uh, cereal box uh, covers and I saw this plate and I thought, hey, why not do something on this instead because I couldn't find it. So I am layering it with acrylic medium white gesso. This is by AA Art Advantage. First time I'm using it, it's super thick and yummy. I love it so much. This is the stamps that I won. I'm so excited! I got it online uh, from a, a Instagram. One of the people that I follow, she had a little competition and decided to try it. So I'm using my stamps and I decided to go with pink and blue because I like how those colors look together. All the paint I'm using is acrylic paint and I'm just going to cover the base of the plate and here I realized that either my I don't think it dried um, my stamp my stamping so but that's okay I just continued anyway you know it will just be part of the background and add some character and, and loveliness to it right yeah let's just keep painting man <laughs> Here I decided to go in with a stencil and I thought flowers would look really nice on a plate and I'm going with brown because I like how brown and blue and pink looks together. So I'm just using a makeup sponge to apply the paint through the stencil. And that came out so beautifully, I wanted to leave it just like that. <laughs> but then I was thinking that uh, you need to add some more stuff. So, I'm trying to decide what to use. I was thinking to use the gesso, but it was so thick, I knew it would just cover the entire thing. So I'm going to use acrylic paint because I couldn't find my other thinner gesso. And I'm just going to push the that beautiful flower pattern into the background and I'm thinking here why am I doing this I should have just left it but let's see what happens just go and just go brave right So what I'm going to do here is something that I did, I picked up years ago in my teens when I was stressed and from time to time I just go back to it. I first started off doing, uh, I used color pencils and soft pastels to do this and I I guess I've never stopped because it always relaxes me. It it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel calm. So from time to time, I go back to this and just create some 
some curves i don't even know what to call it i don't have a name for it it's just curved lines that i i shape into stuff <laughs> i don't know what to call it so yeah i was i guess i was feeling a bit uh, overwhelmed is not a word i was feeling a bit um confused so i thought i will start with this and just calm myself and just chill and just you know paint so yeah that's what this piece is and i actually love doing it on the plate it's so light and you know i like the size i like that it's round it's beautiful it's one i like the color as well you know it's so awesome that i just happened to find it in my art supplies how weird is that <laughs> okay So I was trying to open the red and it was stuck and it just broke open. So now I can't close it. I'm a kind of afraid that it dries up. So I have to, yeah, I'm kind of freaking out here. Like, oh my gosh, what am I going to, because it's very runny as well. And I just, I don't know how that happened. So it kind of threw me for a bit and I was stumped. And then I decided, okay, you'll deal with that after. You just continue painting. <laughs> so I wanted to tone it down because I found it was super strong. So I ended up adding some white to tone it down. But then it looks like the background, which makes no sense. So I just went in with the, it. you know, I went in with its true color. And I'm just adding some more curves because i found it looked it, like it, it felt like it needed something more so i'm just gonna add a couple red curves And I know I haven't posted uh, any mixed media pieces in about two weeks. And I just want to thank you all for sticking it out with me. You know, life is happening. And sometimes it does get the better of me in terms of uh, time management and being able to create and edit. And, you know, sometimes it really does um, affect me more than at other times. <laughs> so... This is me trying to get back in the game, hoping to produce more often. But thank you all for, you know, still being here and watching and commenting. I really, really do appreciate it. And I always look forward to your comments and suggestions, you know, and, you know, any little challenges you all, you all want me to try as well. It's kind of scary challenging myself sometimes. Right, so now I still felt like it needed something. It felt, you know, like it was missing something. So I just decided to go in with some uh, light, thin strokes. I tried my best to get them thin. So 
So I'm just holding the brush up top and lightly, try my best to just lightly brush uh, the plate. You know, not pressing down. And I'm just going to do that all over until I feel satisfied. Then I decided to add some uh, white uh, highlights on the brown. I just felt like it, you know, that was the thing to do. So I did that. And then it still felt like it was missing stuff, so I decided to add some splashes. And I don't know what's going on with this brush. It's just not splashing. It's kind of confusing and annoying. And then while it was kind of giving trouble, I decided, you know what? I actually do not want splashes all over. So it's a good thing it wasn't just falling off the brush. Hey. <laughs> So I'm just adding, I decided to just add it around, even though some still got in the middle, most of it is going to be um, on the edge of the my piece. And that's it. I love how it came out. I'm so happy and I plan to do more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.